Hey what's going on guys, how all you are doing, welcome to a new video or the part 2 of making a command line interface on Node.js. So as you have probably watched the last video tutorial, we have stopped on making or adding a context command from the commander. So we've just submitted the added context and saved the data into the MongoDB database that we have just worked on over here. Just doing some test data and yeah, everything's working fine with, alongside its or the contacts phone number. So now we need to implement or like resume our implementation of the other functionalities that are needed from our application. So the rest of the, functioni the functionalities actually we're gonna need to implement from this particular to Vitor tutorial in order to like uh, finish this uh, CLI is like delete from the database, delete a specific contact after searching on it and obviously uh, updating a contact and finding a contact on the database. So let's just start by adding a new, a new command. So let's say command, um, command for searching and this is gonna be like helpful for searching for a searching contact from the database, fetching it and just show us the data on for this particular contact. So to do that, we're also gonna need to register a command using the program with a description and an action and using query and all of this kind of thing. So let's just just jump right into this. Uh, we use program. So program dot command. And this command, we're gonna just, I don't know, something, you can use search or you can, I'm going to use find because a little bit more, a little bit more precise for this job. And we're gonna add the description, find a contact and the action is going to be submitted once this command is going to be submitted actually. So the takes a call back and here we are going to use inquire for asking for the name. So we're just gonna ask for name of this contact in order to fetch it from the database. So ask for name and make sure to, to grab this, uh, I don't know, the full source code from GitHub because I'm gonna just put it on GitHub. So just feel free to go on GitHub and just clone this uh, source code, you know, just manipulate it, play with it so you can briefly understand what we're actually doing in here and just take something from this tutorial and be some kind of beneficial thing from this particular tutorial. Anyway, so as I've said, we use the contacts. So as I've created the contacts, um, the contacts model. So we use that in order to reach the database and find, as you know, for MongoDB, you need to use the schema or the model in order to search, either to search or to save or to update or to do any up or operation on the database. You need the model for this particular data you want to find. So the schema for this particular one. So we're going to just use find. You can use find by ID if you have the ID, but for this particular uh, sake of this, job we're not gonna use the id we're just gonna provide it with an attribute which must be like uh, an only attribute like a unique attribute so every contact has a unique name so you can just do a checking over here so once an, another user or the same user wants to add the contact twice so doubled contact or yeah you know twice of this the same data or the same name so you just must prevent him from that and just return an error error like you can't save this person twice or something like that so yeah you, you shouldn't save two uh two names on the database or the same names on the database the name must be a unique one in order to find so here we pass in the uh, an object that has the attribute we want to search for so as i've said the name and we're going to just give it the name from the inquirer so for that we need to use inquirer first so use inquirer dot prompt function which is going to allow us to prompt um, a message for him and this message is going to be an array and let's, in this array since we're going to have only an object so I'm just going to define it in line over here so we're just going to have a tie for this is going to be an input of course because we're going to input the name of the the contacts we want to search for and the name for that is um, I don't know contacts or just give it a name or just name it a name actually and the inputs and the message is going to be enter contact um, contact name okay and yeah here we go so you can add some validation as I've said in here in order to validate the name or something but yeah this is not really necessary for this sake of thing so here we should get the name and we just use the then function so the then function is going to take a call back as we have talked about and is going to just hold on our answers so the object is going to hold on to the answers 
and here we are going to pass in the answers into the contact so contact find we find the name and here we get the name from the answers so answers dot name since we have only one so yeah this should do the job perfectly for us so uh, after contact find the contact find takes a callback as the second argument so this callback has an error as a first argument and a response with any and this array is an object or array of objects to be more specific so this array of objects holds the data that we have fetched from the database according to this attribute which is the name in this particular case we only have a unique name so we're just gonna get one particular element on this array so you should access the first element from this array in order to grab your uh, number phone, phone number from for this particular name so here as I've said we need to call back so first thing is error the second thing is for example called just cn shortcut for the contact and yeah i don't know there's a lot of imbricated um or deprecated content or like uh, callbacks inside other callbacks but this is shouldn't be frustrating if you are familiar with javascript that much or if you have been working with javascript for a very long time so here finding and we're just gonna console log so console log the number and we chalk the, I don't know, let's use the blue color and contact number or let's give it or his name so we're just gonna use answers.name plus and we're just gonna plus this and contact name his or number as just to be more precise and we just give it cn and make sure since it's this array to access the first index unless it's just going to give you an undefined data over here so make sure to access the first index as i've said and here you can get or access your number attributes or any other attributes you have in your database here you can get it successfully without with no problems actually so we this should work for us now let's try to clear after it's cleared already but we're just gonna go node main.js and use in the find method and here we should press enter we should get some promising input into the contact name for example let's go ahead into the compass in order to see what we have for names and we have here alex for example so let's just take a look on, on this alex and it has number two three one four five six seven and ends with a zero at the end and it's alex the name alex so let's just input alex press and alex number is two three as i said and ends with a zero so you can match this is the same thing over here so it's the, as you can see it is working pretty much fine as simple as that you can just fetch from the database also for the delete operation um i don't know delete from database so we can go for a program again command uh let's for example this time delete and description so delete a contact so for this particular one we're going to delete the uh, contacts from the database so delete contact the auction and the auction takes a call back so yeah we're already familiar with that so we use inquire we inquire we let him that will just prompt us or give us the name but for the deleting we need the id so for that we're just gonna go ahead and find or use this particular function so to better thing to do is to wrap this into a function so we can use it twice when we want to find from from the one the user need to find from the database find a number or phone number of a contact using his or her name or the second one when we want to find his id in order to delete it since the delete operation only takes the id as the find parameter so you can't input it or you can't give it the name since the name can cannot be unique since the name isn't unique at all so mongodb won't take that as a unique thing but the name for you since you are checking for it so it's pre pretty much fine but for the deletes you need to you need to actually find that so let's just go ahead and um uh, i don't know let's just take this one and put it into a function so uh, i'm gonna just name a function find on database or find contacts to be more precise find contacts i don't know i can't just spell contact that correctly but yeah here we do a prompt and 
yeah we do a prime we do everything in here and we're just gonna just say this is the number but instead of saying that this is going to be a number since they're gonna be a function so we are going to return this so we're just gonna return the cn and the cn the first index so we're just gonna return the first index not the whole array but the first index which holds our name and number and id of course so this is an object that holds an id a name and a number so we're just gonna use this id in order to access that so let me just copy all of that or not all of that the console.log so by coming over here we can call the function which is find contact and find contact takes no parameter pretty much but it's just gonna return um, let's contact or con or cn okay cn will do the job for us perfectly and cn I'm just gonna just um, console log the cn since it's doing the job perfectly I'm just gonna say cn not zero now because we have already returned the zero index of this array and I'm just gonna say not answers name but for now this answers isn't uh, defined anymore so we can use the cn and the number from that particular one. This should work without no problems and we, we can use the find contact. Now find first or let's ask him for this or the find contacts would do the job for us so we can uh, find okay so find contact by name and we can use this function that we have already defined so find contacts will uh, use inquirer to ask our user for, for entering a name to find a contact so as you can see enter a name so then it's going to return us the found contacts on the database that so we can use the id in order to delete it so here we should say let cn for our contact or for our found contacts grabbed or fetched contacts from the database then we can just delete so delete and for deleting we use our um, model and we use find by ID and update or delete pretty much so you can use the update but we are not going we are actually not going to cover it on this tutorial because it's pretty much the same thing all you do is just change for by a far or find by id and remove you change it by find by id and update and that's it you pass in the same parameters you do the same thing so just kind of waste of time for this particular tutorial you can do it as an exercise for you just if you can uh like to let yourself understand a better things over here so here if you can just say it takes like um the id for any and it's called back with how the res response or the deleted objects on the database and an error if there is any so here we give it the first the first actually the id we've grabbed and this isn't the end of the id so if you can go to the campus as you can see the id has an underscore and it's already predefined for us so underscore id so we should access this attribute into the contacts object here and the second one as i've said it's an error and the other one is our deleted object so we're just gonna call it the lt or for deleted stands for deleted objects it's just optional thing you can require or you can import it for now so it's just and here we can use console.log and we use chalk dot um i don't know uh red let's use the red so the red function i'm just gonna give it um the contact name so the cn dot name has been deleted from database okay and here we should concatenate this with each other and we are good to go so hopefully here we this should do the job for us find and remove and find the contacts now here we're using the delete or we can better say is remove so this will do the job for us and it's clear just run node again and we will use remove make sure to save this and just sort this and make sure to use the remove you can pass in a custom file or you can pass in actually um, I don't know why this is exiting so see um, it's exiting I don't know why so I believe since we have just changed this function let's just take this function all of it back I don't know I think it's not working properly so let's just gonna take it and not return anything in here 
just go ahead and take all of that under here and the find method should work now with with no problems uh, let's just comment this one I think that we are returning something in here so the return will interrupt the inquirer process or the prompt process so it won't ask you anymore or something it's just gonna interrupt the process and it just exits uh, no matter what so we will try to use it that way or the custom way or the default way and here for the move also we're gonna just use it that way uh, not passing this actually but let's see we have require okay so I'll just take all of that and put it up here and enter here instead of just constant log we're just gonna take our contacts delete function take it all of that down and let me just comment this one and this should do the job for us so here deletes and we have the cn so the cn is an array if you can remember so we should access the first um the first index so we can access or get or grab the first objects from this array and also for the find method it should do the job uh, the same thing so we should just go ahead and grab the first one the zeroth index since this array is going to only hold uh, one index which is our desired or our search uh, contacts from the database so let's try this again and remove I don't know this should work for now uh, hopefully so let's try to answer Alex or delete Alex since Alex is already in the database over here so entering Alex Alex has been deleted from the database you can see we get it as a red and shiny and chalk help us a lot for achieving this really nice cool color thing and if you can just go back try to refresh and we should see Alex goes from there but it doesn't go or it does but I don't know something is wrong something isn't working right so let's check for error F or I, I know what's going on so here we are not including this pretty much guys sorry for this so uh, let's see you now since we weren't actually including or accessing the first index from this database that's why or that was the problem so we've changed everything only that so let's interrupt this clear and stop this or restart it from the beginning we should get the prompts we enter Alex we get Alex to leave from the database again but we're not sure so let's just go ahead and boom yeah awesome so Alex has gone from the database and yeah we are good to go so Alex has been successfully deleted from the database or removed from the database with no problems just by finding and just passing in the ID and yeah we are ready to go so I think this that was it actually guys that was very very ba basic thing and just very simple that was showing you how you can use command inquire proper or like commander and inquire power of power with MongoDB in order to manage your databases and or using a command line application that was very very nice guys so thank you guys for watching i really do hope you enjoy you can take just take and implement the update function since it's pretty much the same thing for the find by id and update or find by id and remove the same procedure the same functions or the same methods calls and everything so just take it as an exercise and try to implement it by yourself in order to like i don't know have a little bit of challenge you know something like this so thank you guys for watching again i will catch you in the next video tutorial.